Though they live hundreds of miles apart, three North Carolina girls are forever linked by one heart. Their connection made possible when Duke surgeons performed the world's first mitral valve transplant. After suffering a cardiac arrest, 11-year-old Journey received a full heart transplant. Though her pumping muscles failed, her valves were in good condition to donate to other transplant patients. Yeah, it's really cool getting that phone call, huh, that you're getting a new heart transplant. <laughs> the world's first living mitral valve replacement is really a variation of the partial heart transplant that we innovated here at Duke in 2022. Children who need heart surgery just don't have options as good as adults. They need valves that grow with them, and that's why we're doing this. Uh, I want to draw a picture for you of what a mitral valve looks like because it's different than all the other valves in the heart. With the onset of pediatric endocarditis, an inflammation of the heart's inner linings, Margaret needed a new mitral valve to replace her damaged one. Duke surgeons realized that Journey's valves were a good match and are confident that this new living valve will grow along with her. The difficulty with the mitral valve access is that it's in the back side of the heart, so you have to get around to the posterior part of the heart, but also it's in the most important chamber, which is the left ventricle. That's what pumps out to the body, and so it sees the most stress of any heart valve that you have. And so it's a more difficult valve to access, but also it's a more difficult valve to sew in and to place inside the heart. So in through the mitral valve, and then it pumps and it goes out the aortic valve and then it goes to your body. And that's the pulse you feel, that's the EKG that goes up and down each time, right? <laughs> and so the mitral valve is the most important valve in the body. It handles the most pressure of any other part of your entire body. Cool. Yes, How are you feeling? Uh-huh. How's the recovery been for heart surgery? Good. Excellent. Well, you've had a great recovery from this heart surgery. Do you think so? Kensley, now nine, had her first two heart surgeries before the age of two months. Implanting a living valve that grows with her instead of an artificial one, or one for her size right now, the prevailing thought is that this will prevent future transplant operations and the complications that come with multiple surgeries. This is absolutely a logistical orchestra to put this together. And so it wound up being three pretty big surgeries in a row in a short period of time for these. But that's exciting because three people benefited from that one organ uh, that was offered. We've made great strides with this research, but we're really just getting started.